We begin tonight with team coverage. A fraudulent nursing assistant and VA hospital serial killer, Rita Mays, will likely spend the, li or the rest of her life in prison. West Virginia Tonight reporter Amanda Mueller spoke with victims' family members. She joins us from Clarksburg in front of the federal courthouse. Amanda? Mark, I spoke with family members earlier today and why they say nothing will ever make these losses right again. They are happy with how things went in court today. It, it began with, with a phone call and then the government saying, you know, your father passed away, but here's what we think happened. Tuesday, it ended for serial killer Rita Mays with seven consecutive life sentences plus 20 years for taking the lives of seven veterans with insulin at the Lewis A. Johnson VA Medical Center. They were there so that she could provide them aid and assistance and comfort, and instead, she coldly and callously murdered them. Mays sat in an orange jumpsuit in court as Judge Thomas Klee called her a monster of the worst kind. The monster that no one sees coming. The judge will recommend Mays goes to the U.S. Bureau of Prisons Federal Medical Center in Carswell, Texas, which has a mental health unit. Federal investigators debunked a mercy killing theory raised by the defense. Um, mercy or that she was trying to provide comfort measures, but as you've heard, uh, that's just absurd. Mays offered no answers, only a teary apology. William Edge says he didn't want to waste emotions and words on Mays, but instead talks about his father, Robert. He still knew where he was from, knew every blackberry patch, knew everything in the, in the little little speck of, of, of Rosebud. Um, so he was, that was his last request, can somebody take me to Rosebud? Others had harsh words for Mays. Melody Proctor, daughter of Felix McDermott, called Mays a coward. And yet another told Mays, may God forgive you, because I never will. Now, families say, and William Edge in particular told me the big word of today was relief, but of course, there will always be sadness. And as for May, she will most likely spend the rest of her years in jail. Reporting live in Clarksburg, I'm Amanda Mueller. Amanda, thanks for the update. It turns out Mays was likely a symptom of bigger problems at the VA Medical Center in Clarksburg. Today, the federal government's investigation of the incidents was made public, and it's a scathing report. Now that Rita Mays will be spending the rest of her life in prison, the attention turns to problems inside the VA hospital. Today, the VA's Office of Inspector General finally issued its report on the deaths. It found a number of problems, including that insulin was left out on carts in hospital hallways where anyone could get it. It says hospital management should have seen the trend of unexplained insulin deaths in non-diabetic patients, but key signals were missed or ignored. Hospitals have what's known as sentinel events, which means when there's an unexplained death, they're required to do a root cause investigation. Each one of these should have triggered a siren going off. In court Tuesday, Melanie Proctor, the daughter of victim Sergeant Felix McDermott, said of Rita Mays, she has taken away any faith that we had in the VA system that my dad held in really high esteem. The report also criticized the hospital for hiring Rita Mays in the first place. A simple internet check of West Virginia nursing licenses, which is available to the public, showed that she was not a certified or licensed nursing assistant as she claimed. Claimed. And no one at the VA did a background check that she had been sued for allegedly beating an inmate when she was a state corrections officer. She was hired and there was concerns about her, the place where she had previous employment. That should have showed up immediately. And there should have been absolutely ironclad, uh, an ironclad provision that no one can be hired until the background check is complete. So far, more than $7.5 million has been paid out in wrongful death claims in these cases, but more claims are pending, so the bill for the VA is going to go up. The report says that hospital administrators failed to properly investigate the suspicious deaths after the information surfaced. A number of top leaders were removed. And today's Inspector General's report also says the VA in Clarksburg needs a hospice and a palliative care center because of the aging population at that medical center. <laughs>